All right, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem Rakaha Kodash. Double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth, who will well teach well with much diligence. Peace, love, and salutation unto the whole full elect kings and priests who are out there, bringing out this word in sincerity and in truth, patiently waiting for the return of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai to redeem us from the land of our captivity here in America. Known in the scriptures as Babylon and Great, and likewise from around the rest of the world, where Israel has been scattered as a whole. Shalom to all you brothers and sisters, Wasa Quayam, who are out there uh, patiently waiting. <clears throat> Brother Amawan from the Great Millstone Branch, of Los Angeles, and I'm back here with another lesson um, this uh, evening, uh, going into the uh, nighttime. Um, it is November 12, 2021, Friday, okay, uh, 5.15 p.m., Another day closer to Esau's downfall and the uprising of the nation of Israel kingdom. And I have another lesson here, you know, concerning prophecy, you know, things that are happening on the earth. News update, 11, 12, 21. He keepeth not at home. I want to share a clip from RT, um, which I advise, you know, brothers, you know, go check it out. You know, just, uh, just got uh, recently uploaded from RT America, U.S. warns Europe, the Russians are coming for Ukraine. Now, you know, she uh, she says a, a little bit, um, she focuses on a couple of other things, but this is mainly the main one, you know, the Russians are coming, you know, because we know that uh, America is on the border of Ukraine, and, and uh, America is basically telling other nations what to do and what not to do, you know, with their military uh, power, you know, and, and America is no is in no position of doing that, okay? And one thing that these Russians are doing, they're acting in aggression, you know, they're, they're defending themselves, and that's according to prophecy, you know, that the Most High was going to put hooks in the Russians' jaw, a thought in their mind, okay? And, and we see that on all corners of the earth you see america spreading itself thin like old world like old rome did okay uh, st uh stealing uh stealing uh resources and all that and they're going to go into it so lord willing this video is edifying pull some precepts and close it out so and then she also too she goes into um <clears throat> you know the bitcoin um which is another uh another uh form of uh transition of uh uh of um, currency, so to say, these uh, CBD, central uh, digital uh, banks. So let's get into it real quick, you know. It's, in, you know, a little bit over the place, all over the place, but, hey, it, however it comes out, it comes out. Movies in the future show. Will it still be the same narrative that America is always right and everyone else like Russia are the bad guys? Or will they show the true narrative, like with the U.S. and NATO? It's the pot calling the kettle black. Well, grab your popcorn, folks, and come with us and question more. And here are the stories we are diving in for you. U.S. warns Europe that Russia may be preparing for a major armed conflict with Ukraine. Find out why Washington is sounding the alarm. Plus, an RT exclusive, we get up close to the migrant crisis in Europe. We sit down with one of the figures responsible for transporting refugees around that area. You do not want to miss it. And finally, city officials in Miami announcing each city resident will receive a share of crypto. Could this be a trend? You hear that? And, you know, before I, you know, continue on with the main topic, but do you hear, but do you hear that also? You know... Things are changing concerning the way people buy and sell, you know, their money. You you hear you're hearing NFL players receive their paychecks in um in, in digital currency now. This is the new trend. Uh Revelations thirteen uh is is, is um is, is popping out more and more, you know, with a with a new transition of buying and selling. It sweeps the country. We're gonna find out. Bitcoin. All right, getting right to it. The U.S. is apparently warning EU countries about an upcoming invasion of Ukraine by Russian soldiers. Could Washington be playing a game of smoke and mirrors? 
Well, joining us now to discuss, we have former Pentagon official Michael Maloof and RT web producer Neb Malik. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. So, Michael, let's start with you first. You said before the show you have some thoughts and on this it. is the beast, man. We're talking the U.S. warns the EU that Russia may be planning to invade Ukraine, man. Okay, this is the whore warning the beast of what's to come, man. All right? Hey, war is 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 in, is in preparation right now, okay? And they and 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 they see. Hey, all it takes is one move. Let let me let them continue to speak. Let's mm -hmm. hear him. I'm well, intrigued. Well, I'm. He goes in. You, you sort of hit upon it in your in your uh, monologue, but when you have the United States flying halfway around the world to be in the face and up against the border of the of the Federation and constantly antagonizing uh, Russia to try and contain it by looking at to Ukraine. Georgia before that, and, well, they're doing it now again with Georgia and, uh, and, and trying to put a, 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 a presence, a very uh, large presence in Black Sea. You have to ask yourself, why, why wouldn't the Russians react? Mm -hmm. Why, and, and if they're doing maneuvers in their own country, why is that an alarm to the United States that their their maneuvers are in reaction to mm -hmm. the NATO uh, and U.S. military exercises? Mm -hmm. And they're be you see that they're they're only reacting to the exercises that America is doing in their territory, man. Just imagine Russian Russian troops, you know, lining up. Uh, fighter jets in the in the Atlantic Ocean, flying, you know, flying in the Atlantic Ocean, flying in the Pacific Ocean, in the Gulf of Mexico, you know, imagine that. It, but it, but there, this is Americans, you know, in a, in a whole other territory, man. That's not even <laughs> that's not even in their uh, in a landmark, man. They background where where they where they where they came from, which they don't even come from. Um, which they do, you know. You saw, you know, it comes from, you know. We know Petra, and then you know Caucasus Mountain, or whatever, because he went into the caves. But this man, hey, he's he's in everybody's he's in everybody's uh, 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 land, claiming it claiming it to be his. This is Micah two and one. Woe to them that devise iniquity. And work evil upon their bids. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And how is it in the power of these in, the, in these men's hands? Because the Most High have have set up the bases of man, which is Esau, Edom, giving him the world. Okay, let's, let's get this job real quick. Cause I, I'm I'm really not gonna make this video long. Let's hit the points and close it out. This is Job nine and twenty four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he? All right, he's, he's covering up the main judge, Yahweh Shai, but the earth has been given into this man's hands. Okay, this is why he's, he has the, uh, he, he, he thinks he has the authority. Well, he feels like he, he, can, he can't be uh, untouched to just go into other people's land, you know, uh, uh, antagonize them, you know, uh, set up, do, do live exercises. You know what I'm talking about? Like, literally, military drills on they, on they damn, on they, on they damn turf, man. That's like going to a damn, you know, uh, you go into a practice, but you're on your enemy's land, on your enemy's side, you know? You in a, you in a hood, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is, this, this is the biggest gangster on the earth, man. He so want to talk about, Jake's in the hood or whatever. No, this is the this is the this is the man right here, man. Straight up and down, man. Let's read this again. This is Micah two and one. Woe to them that devise iniquity. Esau is the one devising iniquity. Look up the word devise. He the one setting up plots and traps and you know all this uh, military tactics. You know this is him. Not you is not you Israelites. You're you're the you're the ones uh, getting oppressed, man. This man is spending spending hella money on the military, uh, losing wars. And here it is. He look how he lost the Afghanistan war. Spent all that money, you know, in vain. Read it again. It's going slow for some reason. Oh, there it is. Throughout the hour by Shimiao Shai. 
Let's get the vice. It comes from the Hebrew word, chashab, chashab, to think, plan, esteem, calculate, invent, make a judgment, imagine. You know, these 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 heathens imagine a vain thing against against uh, the Israelites and setting up their NWO. You know, doing back backhand deals behind the ones that's in the same circle as them. You know, it says. Um, Verse 2, it says, and they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. You know, and Esau has a history of doing that. And it, and it, it, can, it continues on today, you know. It continues on today to show who, 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 who has been given, you know, authority over, over the earth, but, but by, by, but by um, taking peace from the earth, as the scriptures say. Let's uh, let him uh, speak some more. Beefing it up all the time. So it's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you're looking for a war, you just might get it. Exactly. Hey, because war is going to happen. World War Three will happen. Okay, nuclear missiles will be the end of Esau and Edom. I'm going to keep saying that because it's going to happen. Esau knows his end will be through uh, World War Three. This The scripture is talking about the three woes. Woe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And, and two woes that are... Matter of fact, let's get it real quick. Uh, what's that? Uh, second woe is past. The third coming quickly. You know, the Lord is not slack. And what he says, each day that passes by, prophecy is getting closer, man. Okay? Um, it's like you. Yeah. You know, the Most High doesn't stir the times. He he set everything in measure. He doesn't, you know, and, he, and he's measuring up these times. He's, he's letting the, uh, let me read this. He let, uh, Revelations 11 and 14, the second woe is past, and behold, the third woe coming quickly. First World War, what, 1914 through 1918. The second war, okay, in the uh, 1940s through the uh, 1945, something like that. And then here we, here we are in present day, 2022. I mean, 2022, <laughs> 2021. You know, a little while we out of here by before 2022. You know, but we understand. You know, things have to be play out in the Most High's time prophecy, still. But it's coming quickly. That's the point. You know, let's uh, keep playing this. Oh crap! Let's bring it back. Exactly. Because things are going to get become very, very serious. And what, what's astounding is that we're even doing this after we we uh, uh, were kicked out of Afghanistan by a bunch of guys in pajamas. Mm -hmm. you know, and we're thinking about having a two-front war, one with Russia and China, and we're threatening and, and bristling with our arms again and, and telling them, don't do this, don't do that, when we're in their own neighborhoods. This is bizarre, and because you don't see... In their own neighborhoods. Let's read this again. It's again, Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And they covet fields and take them by violence in houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Okay? Esau has taken over lands. America, he's taken over, okay, by by rape, rob, and murder. That's why the um the woman that was decked um, with scarlet, you know, color with gold and all that. That was all from the 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 the, the thief the thievery. If that's even a word, you know, the theft of Esau, Edom, and he's constantly doing it today. Stealing coal, stealing, you know, every, every, anything, raw elements of the earth. All that Esau dives into all that, and he sees it around the planet, you know? He sees it around the planet, you know? So that's why he's on all these other borders, man. But this is going to, this is, Esau, he can't go, he can only go as far as the Most High will let him. Let's, let's uh, see if it's a little bit more here, and then close it out see them in the Gulf of Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, they, 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 right now they don't have the power projection for it. Mm -hmm. But even if they did, 
they're, they're regional powers. I think we need to get back to the notion of a respect for spheres of influence. Mm -hmm. and th that, th that area of the Black Sea clearly is Russia's. Mm -hmm. The, the Indochina area is, is China. And ours is Latin America, the Gulf of Mexico. Mm -hmm. But we, what you have are, are uh, neocons in this administration from Newland, Victoria Newland, Sherman, the deputy secretary, and, and, and Blinken himself. They're constantly probing, trying to contain Russia with a fabricated, manufactured story that they're the bad guys to justify higher defense spending. And, and, let's, not forget, and let's not forget all those people you just mentioned come from the Obama administration, That's copy and paste over to the Biden administration. Neb, I want to go to you, your analysis on, on all of this. And you brothers can go finish it, you know, carried on, you know, as they said, from the uh, Obama administration, because they're doing the same thing. And this is the most high working on the uh, the minds of these kings, because this is for our sakes. Using Esau, Edom, uh, 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 Babylon the Great as a, as a spearhead of this. You know, these nations, uh, Esau think he going to get his turn. E Moab, China think they going to get their turn. They, they, the na they next turn is going into, <laughs> into slavery, man. Okay, straight up and down. We got next, man. You know, the Most High, have, have, his determination is to gather the nations. And this is what we see in the Valley of Jehoshaphat happening. Revelations uh, 6 and 4 close it out here. And there went out another horse that was red. This 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 horse is, represents Esau Edom. Horse represents power. Okay? And power was given to him that set them on to take peace from the earth. And that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. This sword goes all the way back to uh, Esau Edom. What he was blessed with from, from uh, Isaac. Okay? And, and, he, and this is how Esau was to live. By the sword. Was he going to live and take peace from the earth, take other people's land? All right, because he's coming in the same spirit of Cain. He's a vagabond, you know, straight loser. You know, you're going into other people's land, taking over cultures, you know. So, but you're at your end, man. The beast is at his end, man. We we at the end of the beast system, man. You know, so I'm going to close it out there. That was this news date for 11-12-21. He keep if not at home. Matter of fact, I didn't even cover this last one, and I must needs get this one here and do and do the remedy <clears throat> twenty seven and seventeen before I go. This is Deuteronomy twenty seven and seventeen. Cursed be he that removeth his neighbor's landmark, and all the people shall say Amen. You know, and that was said unto Israel when we were to go in our land, right, and possess it. Right, not to steal from our neighbor's land, not to burn a they house down or anything like that. You know, but to treat our neighbor with respect. But does Esau practice this? No, he don't practice this. He breaks every law in the Bible, but yet he swears on the Bible and all that. You know, he doesn't believe by the Bible. This is not his code. His code and all that is is is, is the penal codes and all that crap, which he don't even follow by. He just makes it up as he goes, man. But all this is going to change, man. You know, call all your heart by Shimmy Shai for the end of the beast system. All right? So call all your heart by Shimmy Shai by Shimmy Kakodash. Until the next one, I say Shalom.